Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm Ladreb and I'm joined today by Cricket FPV. Cricket has made a name for himself with his signature move. Just the backwards dive. And I want to learn a little bit more about it. So a backwards dive is pretty much going to be a completely blind dive. So instead of your traditional dive where you're coming down head first, you're going to be coming down butt first. Good. Little things that I have, ideas, tricks, and tips that I want to give you so that you can get it a little better or learn how to do it from a beginning stance. I, know, I want to learn a little you bit want more. To learn. I mean, I can do it. I can do it. Kind of. I think it's been some time with the master. I'm gonna get all uh, get in there. <laughs> Throw this. it back. So to get started, let's start in kind of a controlled, safe environment. We're gonna head down to our warehouse, get a micro brushless drone, which has enough power to do some of these moves. Shouldn't be a problem. But you know, isn't gonna be so um, so much of an impact if you crash and. I kind of feel like this is a move that you have to crash a lot to learn. No, no crash is needed. <laughs> we'll see. Talk me through the whole process. So we're gonna roll up to the to the wall straight, mm -hmm. which I call the backboard. We're gonna get right to the wall, pitch back, fall through. As you're falling through, wait until you see the object pass, and then throttle back. Yep. So I'm just gonna do one race, as you can see. So just one of those, and coming back, just using the wall as your reference. And that's why they're easier to do on stuff like this. So you're just gonna creep up to it, get it in your vision, and then. What are the specific stick movements? So, as you throw yourself, you're gonna pitch back and get yourself vertical and cut throttle completely until you see yourself go through it. So you're gonna roll up to the backboard, pitch back, roll out. What we're working with today though is just like a really <laughs> narrow hole on top of a roof. So mm -hmm. like how do you... Well this one's difficult because you just have to know that you're going to have to come out on an angle from whichever way you drop. You know what I mean? I need to watch you do it. Alright, so why'd you bail out of that one? Because I was too far past it. This okay, was actually so you, a really you, hard one. You knew you that you were it. too far past it. Yeah. Like, what was your reference for that? Oh, I'm just doing it a lot, to be honest, man. Like, here's so you the just thing. have to crash a lot to get good at this? Well, no, but you see how it's like not roof level? Like, usually it would be like right here. So, wow, you just hit it. This one, you have to gauge how far you have to come in to actually hit it. You okay. know what I mean? You get a look at it. Oh, 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 oh okay. Somebody was trying it. <laughs> Well, if there was a hole behind us, it would have just been. <laughs> Why is it so difficult while you're watching? I did it first try. Done. I feel like something to take from this trick tutorial is that first off, if you're gonna do this, definitely have turtle mode if you're gonna land on a roof where you're probably not gonna be able to climb or access your drone. Second off, it's probably not something you're gonna be able to do first attempt repetitively because you know, you're going blind into it. And that's kind of the same thing with all blind techniques. And I guess the third thing is don't be afraid to commit to it because if you're worried about it, you're not gonna be able to do it. So you're basically doing what he's doing, which is just being ready to break all your stuff or lose your quad. You just have to have that confidence to do it. Like you just have to, okay, I need to throw it about this much. Uh -huh. Get as much of a visual as you're coming over it before you do this. Yeah. That's why I was saying it's easier with the wall behind you because they even know where that wall is. Where this yeah. is in the middle of a roof. Right. No perspective of where. Yeah, but you see it come out though? Like once you get out of it, yeah. Once you do it, you it's just come back and then you're sweet. good. This is a very difficult one. I'm glad I got it the first time so I don't have to do it again. <laughs> Actually, okay, here's my other idea. Is could I use this whole lengthwise? Yeah, yeah, you definitely just harder. Is it harder? Because yeah, I think just, I can yeah. here's what I can do. Oh, I can warm yeah, up yeah. with just doing like that. Yep, and then coming back. Okay, so that just kinda dropped through. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I didn't think about Now that I that. can now I can really look up. Oh that catch is weird. That catch is you weird. Catch you need a lot less bottom. throttle than you think yep. you do. I'm gonna try it proper. I'm gonna try it proper. Here we go. That's the solar flare. Dude, I don't know if I can do this gap. <laughs> it's really fing hard. I told There's you no reference so. point. So it's all just about doing it enough times so that you kinda like get used to it. Get used to it and get lucky. Oh, oh I did it. Kind of. Oh, okay, that was weird. It's just an unusual motion like that you're not even. There it is. There it oh, is. I. Huh. There you go. 
It is really weird. Okay. You gotta give it a little blip. I gotta when you flip it back like that. You gotta give it a little it blip. Just, just arrest just to, my forward exactly. momentum. Exactly. So it's like, uh, blip. Perfect. There it is. Perfect. Oh, that blip Perfect. is what I was missing. You just gotta blip yourself. Okay, okay, you okay, okay. I'm gonna like dive a few times first. I'm trying to like get a mental, help my situational awareness. Yeah, that is a smart move. Like spend some time doing tricks that you know you can do so that you just like know the space. That's, that's a good idea. Okay, you're, you're doing what I was doing. You're, you're going past it and hitting the roof. Give it that little blip. Look up and blip it. Blip it. Oh, there it is. I, I truthfully think it's a luck trick. I think it's a, you basically have to get really lucky to do it, but I think if you can get that situational awareness of where you are, you can do it repetitively, but. No, I did three in a row. It just, I thought it was never gonna be luck, and then all of a sudden I did my first one, and I knew what it looked like. I knew what it looked like before, knew what it looked like after as I was doing it, and I just started, and they weren't all like, really good solid nose up dives, but like. He said he has yeah. a couple more attempts to keep trying it and doing it and doing it. And once you get a couple under your belt, it just makes you that much more confident when you run. They write off things as, as luck, but there's another element, it's persistence. persistence. And that's not necessarily bad, like I always think like about skateboarders when they want to do some handrail tricks. It, it took over times. and over and yeah, over. They fall and bust their ass a thousand times. Man over just killed it. it. That was it, that was it. Why did you do that to me? Something to think about, crashing in tall places. I always carry my stick. Fly softly, but carry a big stick. <laughs> that was, uh, Sharpoo said that. <laughs>